Hello Capricorn couples and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscription. So what I'd like to do for you as I did to you for your counterparts, I'd like to do a romance reading here for those of you who are already involved in an existing situation, okay? Just to see what you might consider doing to gain the love that you're truly seeking here, okay? Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope that it does, in fact, offer you the valuable information that you're seeking. So as you see before me, I'm going to be using my oracle cards here again. And I'm going to start off, ladies and gentlemen, by sharing with you what I'm seeing as the uh, overarching theme or headliner that's pervading your reading. And then we'll get into some more specifics here. So this reading is more of a practical advice. Uh, of course, it's somewhat predictive, but... We're not going to, you know, solely focus on that. We're, we're focusing on getting you the love that you're seeking truly, okay? So, as an overarching theme here, what is the overarching theme, Spirit, that you'd like me to share with Capricorns in regards to their situation? Wow. Inner peace here. So, that certainly appears that you guys have certainly been going through a lot of frustrating type situations here perhaps even a lot of arguments you know and what you need right now is comfort okay spirit wants you ladies and gentlemen to know that you are simply good good enough as you are Perhaps some of you might even need to consider surrendering low self-esteem. Understand that only you can complete you. And Spirit wants you to embrace a bit more confidence as well as a bit more courage here. So let's select a card here to examine Capricorn's matters from your life prior to your existing relationship. Things to which perhaps you might be clinging and might need to resolve or let go here. Okay, so we have wow, the Divine Feminine. And of course, that usually is a very good card here. So perhaps some of you might be using it in a more negative type way here. So perhaps when it came to your romantic situation, you felt a bit that you were beyond hope. But Divine Feminine, they want you to trust and be patient. And perhaps you were very impatient, Capricorn, and you felt that there was no hope left. And even some of you might have didn't really trust your intuitive faculties here, and you went against your own better judgment. Okay? So, those are things that I'm kind of getting here that... You brought into this situation somehow, but you need to kind of flip it back up here. And just to be patient with your current lover. Trust and have hope. But by all means, trust your intuition. Okay? Let's select another card here just to examine a topic that you could potentially, you know, bring up or discuss. Or put what right with the, your current partner. You know, at this moment here, you have, wow, creativity here. So this is more a card of kind of thinking outside of the box here. Perhaps you've done a lot. The two of you just simply, you don't do anything creative, I'm getting. You're set into a routine that you need to get out of, okay? Spirit wants you to start doing things that you wouldn't ordinarily do unexpected things okay 
And that will certainly help your relationship improve. And you do have the uh, ability to be very creative. Uh, Capricorns here that I'm seeing. Okay. Let's go on and select another card here. And with this card, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share with you an energy that perhaps you benefit should you pay a bit more attention to for now on. Okay? Something that you need to kind of bring into your lives. Keep in mind, Capricorns, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit. And be sure to press that subscription button so you have here boundaries. So some of you need to really recognize and understand that no is definitely a complete sentence. You have to say no and you have to establish boundaries so that no one kind of, you know, can cross them. You know, you have to stick with it. And with this card, you know, that it tells you, too, that a healthy sense of self is a great foundation. It's more like letting your yes be yes and your no be no, as I said. But this card also calls for compromise, too, in some way. Being true to your own feelings and also telling your partner when you really need breathing space. Because I, I feel that that might be another possibility that you're feeling a bit smothered here that I'm getting all right so with that said that is your reading here couples when it comes to those oracle cards there so since you are in fact involved in a romantic situation here I'm going to give you a few more messages here on how you can continue to nurture and to attract a loving relationship that you really are, in fact, seeking. Should anyone wishes to have a more personalized reading, you can certainly access my website to schedule and or to purchase. There is currently an active $15 coupon with which you could apply to any of the readings shown there or to one more customized. Okay, so let's see what our final messages are. What are the final messages here the Spirit wants Capricorn couple to know? Alright. Spirit certainly wants you to know, Capricorns, that a great love life requires intimacy, trust, and the ability to share your feelings. As indicated throughout your reading. It's time that you express your doubts and fears, your likes and dislikes. Talk openly. Listen. Be fully present.